So let's talk about engagement baiting. <sighs> I have like mixed feelings about engagement baiting because like some some people don't understand the difference between cheap engagement baiting versus like, oh yeah, I'm definitely doing this for clicks. There is a difference, right? There's actually a huge difference. So if you are making sensationalized content, some of that can be considered engagement baiting, but that doesn't make it bad. It's just sensationalism. What I'm talking about is cheap engagement baiting. This includes victimizing yourself, bullying straight up on social media because apparently that's okay now, begging for money due to poor financial decisions that you made and then making it other people's problems, making posts pretending you wanna make friends, but you really don't, you just want likes. That one's kind of, mm, it's cheap, it's cheap. Is it wrong? I don't know, it's up to you to decide that, but, it, but it's cheap or just straight up rage baiting. Like, oh, no one wants to play with me. No one wants to be my friend. Oh, I just don't understand why I'm not growing. These are considered cheap engagement baitings because you know posting that is going to make people feel sorry for you. It's part of the victimizing persona. It's a real persona. People make a lot of money being a victim. And I'm not gonna pretend like that's not a problem in the VTubing scene, it is. Remember what I said earlier. If you don't mind people viewing you in a very negative light, then the victim persona could work really well for you and you'll make a ton of money. But is it worth it at the end? Mm, I don't know. From what I've seen, most people burn out and leave the scene entirely together and then do other really bad stuff and, you know, get called out and it's pretty bad. So that's up to you to decide. I say avoid it because at the end of the day, cheap engagement baiting, people remember that. You might think people forget, like this is kind of the problem that a lot of creators have starting out is that they think people will forget all the bad stuff that they did, all the cheap, weird things that they did. They don't, the internet does not forget. Even to this day, the, I have made posts that I thought were actually helpful and people use those against me now. I've said some dumb stuff in the heat of the moment. People use that against me to this day. There is like a VTuber in this scene who literally goes around and just makes a bunch of rumors about me because she didn't like the video I made and forced it, like straight up bullied me to delete it. Like literally told me if I don't, then all of the relationships that I have are gonna be burned. What you end up doing kind of matters. So try to avoid like this engagement baiting stuff. It will affect you in the long run.